This is episode 2289 of the Daily Meditation Podcast. I welcome you to day five of our series we're exploring this week. I'm Mary Meckley and welcome back. How is your challenge coming along? You are challenged this week as we explore the theme to create or to recharge your meditation ritual. Your challenge is all about creating that ultimate meditation space, making it just right so that it draws you in. Maybe it's in a corner of your bedroom and whenever you walk past it during the day, you think, oh, I can't wait to sit down in my serene meditation space. Maybe your space is more inspiring than serene. Maybe it has a lot of different items to help you feel grounded. Or maybe it's pretty simple and you have more of a zen-like feel where you meditate. This space is yours. Make it your own. You can always change it later to reflect the ever-evolving chapters in your life. I'd love to see a photo of your meditation ritual. So if you send me a photo of it on Instagram, direct message me a photo of it and let me know whether you would be willing to allow me to share it on my Instagram feed or if you would just like to show me and you'd like to keep it private. Either way is fine. Many of you have already shown me your amazing meditation spaces. So many of them are outside. I was pleasantly surprised or else near a beautiful vista where you're looking out at a window. You have plants around you. You're so creative. I love seeing where you meditate. So now remember, that the full half hour guided meditation experiences are always on the Sip and Ohm meditation app. That includes a weekly journal focused on the theme, as well as a slow down guide with a yoga asana on it and an herbal tea for the week. Everything that you're discovering in the meditation series, all the techniques are right at your fingertips there on that guide. So you can try the Sip and Ohm meditation app for a full week free. That's a free full series. And you might be wanting more, wanting this in your life, especially now you have your meditation space all set up. So you are ready to go. Well, in today's episode, I want to share with you a little about journaling. In fact, I started sharing with you a daily journal prompt here on the podcast just recently, and I'll share your journal prompt with you today. It is, who are the people who inspire you the most and why do these people inspire you? What are the special qualities about them that inspire you? And then You'll be guided through a meditation where I'll allow you to feel grounded, really centered in your practice, and you can focus on your first chakra as you meditate. That's always an option, but I'll guide you a little through your first chakra and then you can take it from there to whatever extent you want to explore the chakras. So one word about meditation, you're discovering all these different techniques. Well, chakras are very mainstream in the East, especially in Asia. And in fact, they're incorporated in Chinese and Ayurvedic medicine. They're simply referring to where you hold energy or your emotions and experiences in different parts of your body. So for your first chakra to feel grounded, it represents the part of your body that grounds you, 
your feet, your legs as you walk on the earth, and your hips, your tailbone as you sit down and connect to the earth. And the qualities of this first chakra have to do with feeling centered in your values, a steadfastness, a loyalty, and dedication. So I'll be guiding you through a meditation to feel more grounded. Well, back to journaling. Journaling is also a way to help you feel grounded as you meditate. I know many of you journal and some of you have reached out to me about how to journal. So I thought I would incorporate this as a way to help you start or recharge your meditation ritual. When you journal, when you meditate, I recommend that you do what I would consider to be a brain dump where you write down your worries and fears and all those distracting thoughts that are running through your mind as you get ready to meditate. Those are the thoughts you want to let go of. So dump them right there on the page. Just write down random words, quick little descriptions of how you're feeling or what you want to release. And then think about what the theme is for the week, what you want to focus on, your intention, and then sit down and meditate. After you meditate, write down a few reflections on how you feel. How long did you meditate? Did you experience peace or joy? Were you excited? Was there a thought you couldn't seem to let go of? When you record your reflections before and after you meditate, you'll be amazed by how much progress you make when you look back over the days of your meditations. And it's also interesting because you'll notice that you have certain patterns or tendencies. Maybe there's a thought that you always seem to think of when you meditate you'll notice so much about yourself and this is a pretty introspective ritual meditation so journaling goes hand in hand with it so now as you get ready to meditate why don't we practice this go ahead and do a brain dump whether you have a journal opened in front of you or not you could mentally do a brain dump Just let go of your thoughts, your worries, and your cares. Now focus on how you'd like to feel during your meditation today. I'll be guiding you to feel more grounded. And now, go ahead and notice how you feel right now. You could name your mood. And as you close your eyes and gently uplift them, begin to calm your mind and body. Inhale and exhale through your nose, allowing your breath to slow down naturally at your own pace. Mentally affirm, now is my time. Now you could bring your awareness to your first chakra right at your tailbone or what is referred to as your coccyx area. This grounds you as you sit to meditate. Feel the ground or the bed or the chair beneath you and feel connected to your space. 
this space you've been creating all week long, feel gratitude for your time you spent here. You could visualize the color red grounding you, feeling as though you are a tree with roots stretching into the ground, anchoring you. Consider the core values that represent your essence. Think of your three most meaningful core values. Think about how these values have anchored you throughout your life. Think about how they have helped support others as you share your life with them. Allow yourself to feel grounded right now in the essence of who you are, your core values. Sit in stillness allowing yourself simply to be who you are right here right now after you meditate be sure to write down a few reflections of your meditation or simply mentally reflect on your meditation you are so worth slowing down for <laughs> 